So here we're going to convert this NFA to a DFA. So this is how we do it. So first we have Q0, Q1 and Q2 all like this. So we start with a starting state which is Q0. If it reads an A, it goes to Q itself and goes to Q1. But if it reads a B and C, they both are empty sets. So we have a new state as Q0, Q1. So you see here, Q1 read A, it goes to itself. Q0, Q1 read B, it goes to a new state which is Q1 and Q2. But if Q0 and Q1 read to C, it goes to an empty set. So here we see that Q1 and Q2, if it reads an A, Q1, Q2, you see that Q1 and Q2 don't read A, so it goes to an empty set. Q1, 2 read a B, they go to itself. But if Q1 and Q2 read a C, but Q1 cannot read a C, so it goes to an empty set. So Q2 can read a C, so it goes to a state called Q2, looking at the diagram above. Now, we have to do something called the Q2, which is a new state. Reading A and B, they go to empty state. So if Q2 reads a C, it goes to itself. And we have to do the empty states. So if the empty state reads a letter, it is trapped. It just stays in the empty state. So this is our DFA diagram as shown over here. Do you see this picture? It looks really nice. Alright, thank you for watching.